All right, we're going to be taking a look at the candle burning question. Uh, it's a classic question asked quite a lot, and students usually have trouble with it, so let's take a look at it here. Okay, so we've got here a thin candle, 30 centimeters in length, takes three hours to burn. Uh, then we have a thicker candle, same length, so that's important, it takes five hours to burn. If the thicker candle is lit at 7 p.m., and the thinner candle is lit 30 minutes later, at what time will the candles be the same length? So let's take a look at a diagram, kind of see where we're at here. So we have a thin candle. Let's draw ourselves a thin candle. There's our thin candle. That is 30 centimeters in length. And we know that this thin candle takes three hours to burn to the, to, um, <coughs> the end. And we have a thicker candle. All right, there's our thicker candle. Exact same length, that's told to us in the question. However, it takes five hours to burn to the bottom. Now, there's some more information here. The thicker candle is lit at 7 p.m. and runs for 30 minutes on its own. Then the thinner candle's lit, and then they want us to find out what time will they be the same length. Before we get into that here, we need to use the fact that we have some information we can do more with. These two pieces of information will allow us to calculate what's called the burn rate, right? If I know that a 30 centimeter candle takes three hours to burn down, that must mean that the candle is burning 10 centimeters an hour. So I know the, the rate of uh, decrease in the length of the candle as an hour go, goes by. So every hour, the thin candle will lose 10 centimeters of length. Uh, likewise, I can do the same thing for the thick candle. I can calculate the burn rate of the thicker candle, and that'll be 30 centimeters over 5 is 6 centimeters an hour. So now I know that the thicker candle is burning at a rate of 6 centimeters an hour. Okay, so now we know we can use that to our advantage here. We want to find out what time will the candles be the same length. Well, I'm just going to let T equal the time uh, the candles are the same length. Okay, so what can we do now with this information? I have to go and take a look here at the fact that we know that I, I know that the candle, let me put that back there, I know that the candle... Uh, the thicker candle was lit at 7 p.m. So if the thicker candle is lit at 7 p.m. and runs on its own for 30 minutes, we have to kind of interpret that information. So therefore, after 30 minutes, which again, 30 minutes is equivalent to 0.5 hours, that means that if the candle burns 6 centimeters an hour, it must be the case that after 30 minutes, which is equivalent to half an hour, um, since the burn rate of the candle is 6 centimeters an hour, therefore 3 centimeters has been lost of the, the thick candle. So therefore, let's take a look at where we're at now. Therefore, at 7.30 p.m., where, where are we in terms of length of the candle? Well, my th thin candle is still here and it's still 30 centimeters. However, the thicker candle is at 27 centimeters. So therefore, what I can do now is I can measure the length of the candle at any time. Well, the length of this candle here, the length of the thicker candle, is going to be 30 centimeters minus the burn rate. Well, the burn rate is 10 times T, right? Every hour that goes by, you're going to lose 10 centimeters. So hour one, you're down to 20. Hour two, you're down to 10. And hour three, you're at the bottom. This candle here, since we're starting at 7.30 p.m., because I want to track when both of the lengths are equal, we're going to subtract the burn rate, which is 6T. So again, that's decreasing. I want to know when is this length going to equal this length. So I can actually set these equal here. Therefore, you set the lengths equal. and we can go ahead and solve for t. So basic uh, algebra question now, I'm just gonna 
subtract 27 on both sides and add 10t to both sides, in which case we get 3 uh, equals 4t. So t equals 3 quarters, which is 0.75. Now t is measured in hours, so therefore, after 45 minutes, both uh, candles are the same length. So um, we started tracking this at 7.30. Uh, so therefore, that would be 45 minutes. will take us to 8.15 p.m. So at 8.15 p.m., the thick candle and the thin candle will be the same length. All right, so this is the burning candle question. Uh, study it, go through it, uh, you know, rewatch some parts, take a look at how I calculate the rate of change that you guys are seeing here, um, and then that adjustment because of that 30-minute head start that the thicker candle had, and then equating those distances, and eventually solving. Thank you.